Good day YouTube, I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome to the third season of Football Manager Upside Down Divisions. If you missed our first season, go check it out in the above link. We will start the episode by looking at the 2022 World Cup. Will this be the prediction of what's to come? Then we go through the English divisions and cup competitions for season three. Will we finally see a top tier team reach the Premier League? If you wish to watch more videos like this one, and further content on Football Manager, I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Right, let's jump right in. So in Group A, USA and Mali qualified, whereas Qatar and Czech Republic went out. And then in Group B, you got Spain qualified, Germany qualified, Nigeria and South Korea go out. Now South Korea came bottom. That's a tough group, way. Eh? Group C, you got Argentina, Italy through, Australia and Croatia go out. Croatia came bottom. Wow, considering there was runners up in the last World Cup. Group D, France and Colombia go through. And then Group E, you got Belgium and Ivory Coast go through with Mexico and Paraguay going out. Group F, Portugal and Ukraine, well done Ukraine, go through. And Uruguay and Jamaica go out. Group G, wow, England came second. Switzerland came top of the group, won all three games. So that means England must have lost to Switzerland. And then you got Panama and Japan going out there. And then Group H, Brazil top of group, Ghana, Holland are out. Aren't they meant to be one of the favourites this year to win it? Brazil, Holland, France, Belgium, they're all up there for favourites, right? Okay, so let's now go to second round. Okay, for first fixtures off the second round, you had USA beat Germany on penalties. So that's it, second round, Germany is out. And then further fixture, you had Spain versus Mali. Morata scored two there for Spain. But Mali did get a man sent off. They did well, right? Next fixtures, Italy beat France 1-0. Pellegrini got the winner. And Messi scored in for 91st minute. Argentina beat Colombia 1-0 with Rodriguez getting sent off in the 71st minute. And then Belgium battered Ukraine 3-0. Portugal won on penalties after a 0-0 draw against Ivory Coast. I think these are the last two fixtures coming up. Wow, I've just seen it down our bottom. We'll get to it in a second. Switzerland, top of England's group, have beaten Ghana 4 1. Wow, Switzerland must be one of our favourites to win this. Surely, with these results, England. Harry Maguire. Wow, look, all in extra time. Three goals in extra time against Brazil. But Harry Maguire, 101st minute. Harry Kane, 116, 117. You know what? If I was the Brazilian manager, Oh my days, I would be peed. Imagine watching that life in real life. Extra time, we score three goals. I think my beer would have went all over the place. Maybe even broke my TV. All right, so for first quarterfinals, Spain versus Argentina. Argentina have knocked out Spain. And then USA with their great run, they've finally been knocked out by Italy 2-0. Next quarterfinal, Portugal beat out Switzerland. I just said that they was... Probably one of the favourites after all their results, but Ronaldo penalty in the 80th minute. And then look at that. Harry Kane, 68th minute, beat Belgium. Semi-final time. Here we go. Italy are into the final with Kane and De Lorenzo getting them through. I mean, there was 2-0 up before Portugal got that. Uh, Cancelo got sent off, so it was more than dead. Who is Italy going to play in the final? They play England. Oh, wow, look, Rojo got sent off 35th minute. But then look at England was 2-0 up by the time he got sent off. Declan Rice, second minute. Harry Kane, penalty, seventh minute. Really, really fast start from England. And then Trent Alexander-Arnold just killed it off on for 42nd minute. So third placed game. So that would have been uh, Argentina versus Portugal. Who's going to get third placed? Argentina. Messi gets the winner there. That was Messi versus Ronaldo. That's kind of like the finale for their uh, national competition surely they'll probably both go off and retire now so for final for final for world cup 2022 qatar italy versus england just like for euro cup italy's obviously not in this world cup but what if what if they were could this have been a final let's go have a look Tammy Abraham, he plays for Roma and he gets for two goals, which make England lift the World Cup. Because Italy's not there, I don't feel this is a great prediction, but you never know. 
never know you could just play this game over and over again and see right whew, i feel like that was a whole video in itself let's move on let's get through these divisions so we're gonna start off as we've always done premiership work our way down to league two because that's where all the big teams are so we might build up and then we go through for cup competitions so for premier division who let's go backwards who got relegated let's go backwards let's go backwards i think let's just do a quick build up so who got relegated from for premier division sutton port vale and forest green and then we work our way up to the table walsall got into for euro cup 2 which is a conference cup and then for uefa cup blackburn only came in fifth wow they got promoted i thought they might be one of the favorites to win for the league obviously barnsley nipped them last year in for championship because halfway through we thought blackburn was going to win it and then fourth place mk dons third oxford second burton burton won for premier division last season so they didn't keep it but then for champions league again and our new premier division so our third new premier division champions are Barnsley there we go I was trying to wonder where Barnsley was but yeah Barnsley have won for Premier Division with 86 points just quickly go on some players just to look out for so Jamal Lowe scored 23 goals best average rating was uh, Rodak assists uh, Kilkenny 12 assists for Warsaw for Championship again I'm gonna blur a thing out until we go through it don't want to ruin anything. Okay, so our relegated teams who are leave it, departing for championship and going down to League One are Accrington, Fleetwood and Scumthorpe. Let's look at second place, Arsenal. Arsenal are the first team we know of going to for Premier Division. So obviously they got promoted from League Two last year with, don't forget, Man City and Liverpool are in here. So one of the teams of Man City and Liverpool are in for playoffs. They've missed out on automatic promotion. Who is our champion? It is Manchester City with no losses, 128 points. Wow, so that means Liverpool have to go via for playoff routes. All right, let's look at for playoffs. Wigan versus Liverpool. Liverpool win 2-1 on aggregate. And for other one finishes, same scoreline, 2-1. Gilliam go through. So it's a Gilliam versus Liverpool final. Who's going to win that one? I think we're all going to know who. Oh, Liverpool won 1-0. Let's just quickly go through for stats. So joint goal scorers there with Rick Carlison and Smithrow. 22 goals apiece. And then average rating, you got um, Silva, Saka, Liverpool. I still can't believe that. Phil Foden and Mane. Assists, Greylish with 17. Silva with 14. Odegaard 13. Let's go to the next league. League 1. And this is where it's going to start getting interesting because it's a very big mixture of championship teams and premiership teams. Let's start from the bottom four relegated. So Crawley, Leighton, Orion, Peterborough and Morecambe. And then we work our way up. Preston, Coventry, Swansea. Ah, there they are. Chef Wednesday. They survive another season in League One. This is going to become the Beast League. It already looks like it, to be fair. And then top of the table. So Millwall, Cardiff, QPR, Ipswich, Blackburn, Forest, Luton, Stoke, Middlesbrough, Reading. And then we got for playoff teams. We'll keep them blank for a minute and we'll come back to the playoffs. Who came second? It is Leicester. Leicester came second with 107 points. So they are now moving up to the championship. Champions of League One this year is Man United with 111 points. So they joined Leicester going up. So in for playoffs, we're going to have Chelsea, Southampton, Tottenham and Bristol City. Who is going through? There we go. So Chelsea. So it's going to be Chelsea Tottenham final, probably as expected. So one of these teams. So we know that Southampton is going to have another season in League One, and they'll most likely be joined by another three Premier Division teams next season. So, but one of them had to go out, right? Chelsea Tottenham. Who's going to join Southampton by staying down in League One, and who's going to be joining Man United and Leicester into a Championship for their ride to for Premier Division? It's going to be. Chelsea 1-0. Player stats, Harry Kane, 26 goals, top goal scorer. Lukaku, best average rating at 7.67. And then you got Ward-Prowse as top assist for 18. 
next division league two so we're on for bottom of the leagues last league let's get through there so for two teams going down to non-league football are Tranmere and Bristol Rovers so let's do this from third second champions and then we're going to the playoffs third place we have Brighton on 93 points and then in second place you have Aston Villa with 96 points and then the champions of league two is money driven newcastle united on 101 points have a quick look who they brought this season or they sent sent maximum to arsenal and arsenal were going into a premier division now as well good ad it's our wesley fafana to roma jamal lewis to rotherham we know that jamal lewis has done well but in premier division now and who have they brought they brought connor gallagher from chelsea Nico Williams from Liverpool, George Johnston from Chelsea. Semi final, we have Sheffield United Leeds, Leeds 1 4 3. And then for the second one, we have Burnley versus Wolves. And again, Wolves win 4 3. Wow, loads of goals, loads of goals. So we've got Leeds, Wolves in the final. And it's Wolves who are going up. They won on a penalty shootout. Yeah, I bet that would have been a good playoff game. So quickly looking at for stats, you've got Ollie Watkins, 25 goals for Villa. I and mean, then average ratings, you've got Callum Wilson on 7.61. Assists, you got Bawendia, 20 assists there. And let's move on to competitions. Oh, who won Community Shield? Liverpool beat Burton 3 1. So Burton was our previous Premier Division champion. And Liverpool must have won for FA Cup. Going on to the FA Cup, Man United beat Liverpool 2 0. Carabao Cup, Liverpool won that, beat Man United 1 0. On penalties, though. So European Super Cup, Inter Milan versus Arsenal. Arsenal won it. And then on to Euro Cup 2, Real San Sebastian. So Real Sociedad beat Napoli 2-1. And then in the UEFA Cup, we had Liverpool. They won Brenner. Again, two goals uh, for them, beating Villarreal. And then Champions League winners, Juventus beat Bayern Munich. Just quickly looking up for English teams like we did before because it's funny. So Rochdale played six games and lost six in their group. Who else we got? Arsenal. Arsenal qualified. MK Dons. Oh, they came third. They came above Rangers. Look at that. They won and drew one. Fair play, MK Dons representing. And then Burton came bottom of their group. Same group as Celtic. Uh, they won no games, but drew one. Oxford came bottom, lost all of their games. That is it. Let me know if you felt that was too rushed and you would like to know more details. Or if not, you're quite happy just seeing how things are turning out. So we're done with season three, season four next. What we're expecting in Premier Division next year, obviously we've got Man City, Arsenal and Liverpool are our first like big teams going into the Premier Division. It's going to be one of those three. Who do you think is going to be our first big team to win back a Premier Division title? Man City, Liverpool or Arsenal? Let me know in the comment section. And I'll catch you on for the next video. Thank you for watching.